Hello there girls and boys, today we are going to be talking about aerodromes. <laughs> Hello there girls and boys, in this video I am going to show you how to hook aerodromes into your digital audio workstation. In this case we are going to be using Logic Pro, but the same could be said about any other digital audio workstation working inside of a Mac environment. I know girls and boys, uh, I am a big Apple fanboy. But if you want me to show you how to do the same using a Windows machine, let me know in the comments down below. If this is your first time in the channel, I welcome you. And here I show you every single thing I do in order to create, write, produce and of course perform my music line. Because I know that making a living as a musician is not a dream, it's a possibility. And if I can do it, you can do it. With that being said, let's get into it now. Welcome back girls and boys to my computer. In front of you, you got my desktop. And here is the important one. Before we do anything, I got to tell you that we will have to go into the depths of some of the hidden features of our computer, in this case my Mac, and in your case your Mac. We are going to have to explore something called audio MIDI settings. So with that being said, let's get into it now. So the first thing that we're going to do is going to be the following girls and boys. We're going to uh, use our spotlight and the only way to access it is by pressing command and space and bam we're gonna get this then we're gonna type down audio midi setup there it is we click enter from there you're gonna be granted with this uh, screen which is not the one that you need what we're gonna do is gonna be the following we're gonna go to window bam then we're gonna click on media studio boom and from here we are going to get an, a window that looks kind of like this. Yes, I know it's kind of lame. I know, girls and boys, it's kind of daunting, but we're getting quite close to the final product. And from here, we're gonna find this guy over here, a IAC driver. We double click on it and we're gonna be granted with this uh, window. Then we go over here and click and confirm that we have marked device is online as a marked uh, box. Bam, bam. Now it's working. From there, we just have to shut all of these things down because we don't have to deal anymore with the audio MIDI setup. And then we're gonna bring aerodrums. Bam, we got it. And before you open aerodrums inside of your Mac, you have to make sure that you have already hooked up the camera, the USB camera to your computer. Otherwise, the software won't work properly. Then we're gonna go over here, girls and boys. We're gonna go to MIDI, boom. And we confirm as well that we are using Core MIDI IAC driver as our uh, MIDI uh, device. Also, this is extremely important, girls and boys. Make sure that you are using MIDI only because if you select MIDI and sounds, you are gonna be triggering both. The sounds that are part of this of the whole library of the, the ones that comes built in with aerodrums and also you're going to be sending MIDI signal to your DAW, which won't be useful because here is the final step, girls and boys. Once we selected our driver, our MIDI driver, we're gonna go over here to MIDI maps. Bam! And you will have uh, this thing in front of you, girls and boys. As you can see, you are going to recognize some of the names if you have been uh, producing music or working uh, in, the, in, the, in the inside of the box for the last few years. Because uh, the fine people at uh, Edward Drum Software have uh, developed and mapped most of the most popular uh, drum kits uh, around in the market. So, you only have to do the following. You select the one that you are more familiar with or the one that you're gonna be working with. And if you are using Logic, you just have to click on this one here, Dr Logic, Drum Kick Designer, and your software is gonna be automatically detected. The drummer that comes in, uh, comes built in with Logic. In this case, I'm gonna be using Superior Drummer, uh, Studio Drummer, sorry, from Native Instruments. We click on it and then we go straight to OK, bam. Then we go to OK. And then it's just a matter of going to Logic, selecting our channel and just inserting our trusty drums library. And that's it, girls and boys. And from here, you should get something like this. As you just saw, girls and boys, it wasn't that hard. 
it's not that difficult and it's actually quite quite useful after learning your ways around the software you can actually come up with really amazing results as you may already know girls and boys we used this platform uh, for rehearsals recording ideas and even recording uh, proper songs and the best part girls and boys is that since uh, aerodrums is technically speaking a glorified midi keyboard you can also use it to trigger different uh, audio instruments, well, virtual instruments in this case, because you're just, uh, uh, by waving your arms, uh, triggering MIDI notes, which implies that you can actually use a piano or, or, or any other form of a uh, virtual instrument. If you'd like to support this channel, the best way to do it is by listening to music on Apple Music or Spotify, also following us on social media, such as Instagram, it's awesome, because that way we can stay in touch with you on a daily basis. As every single time that I meet you girls and boys, I gotta remind you something. Never, ever, ever let anybody tell you what to dream about. And remember that I will see you when I see you.